it's another GCN Pro Bike, and this week I've got hold of this David Formolo Specialized S Works Tarmac. Right, let's get straight into it. Look at that for a start. The Bora Hansgrohe custom paint job on this tarmac. The David Formolo's sticker there, and the number one bike. This is the bike he is riding at the 2019 Giro d'Italia, and he's doing rather well at it, to be honest. Mounted on to the S Works carbon seat post, he's got a Roman Evo saddle. This is actually a carbon rail one, so super light, with the channel in between for extra comfort. But you will notice there's no layback. This is actually a straight cut down. So that's quite interesting because not many riders have a straight cut like that. Moving on from the saddle, we head up to the front end. Mounted onto that blue puck, David would normally have his Wahoo mount, so he'll be able to see exactly what his power reading, speed, distance, that kind of thing. He's gone for the bars, 42 millimeter width pro uh, carbon bars. He's gone for a pro 132 millimeter stem, which is actually quite unusual for stem sizes of sorts. But on top of those, he's got the sprint shifters. Now he doesn't have sprint shifters in the middle here on the drops, he's actually got them on the tops, which is quite unusual. But he is a climber after all and spends a lot of times riding and climbing like that. You'll also see a lot of ceramic speed stickers and that is because ceramic speed is the sponsor of Bora Hansgrohe and they've got the bearings from ceramic speed but in the bottom bracket and in the headsets. So smooth as silk. Moving on to the wheels, we go for the carbon rims of the Rover, which is actually an in-house brand for Specialized and he's gone for the CLX 50 Rapid, not specifically a climber's wheel, they're actually a more aerodynamic one, but ones that are pretty light anyway, so will also stick up in the mountains too. Mounted onto the carbon rims, we go onto the tubular tire, the S-Works 28s these are. These are actually really good tires, ones I haven't actually used, but I've been told they're really good in the wet too. But we work up from there, we go past the number one, which is the number one bike, so this is the bike he actually races on. Up from there, this little bit mount here, is actually really neat because this is the, the number mount and most bikes have them attached through little elastic bands if you like but these ones are glued specifically to the S-Works carbon seat post. Really nice little touch there by the mechanics. So the chain set that Dawid's chosen is the Durace. So he's got Durace crank set here, 172.5 length. He's got a four eye power meter that is actually double sided so that measures your right leg and your left leg. A Durace front derailleur paired with a Durace rear derailleur too. And the chain rings, he's got a 5336. Then to the back cassette, he's got 11 to 28. It's a mountain stage tomorrow, so higher gears are much more preferable. That go with the tarmac, as this is the Specialized S-Works lightweight bike, and the Venge is obviously the more aerodynamic bike. But David Formula is a climber after all. But one thing I haven't mentioned, which I probably should, is this is the disc brake version. So he's not riding the rim brake. He actually prefers to ride with the disc brake, which, to be honest, I can't blame him here in Italy, where it is quite wet and slimy on those big mountain descents. Davi rides some pro wrapped bar tape, which is actually quite soft and comfortable instead of the really grippy that a lot of riders choose. Right, I know what you're all waiting for and you want to listen to the free hub sound check. So here goes, it's in the 11. I mean, that sounds good to me. That's the end of this pro bike. I hope you've enjoyed taking a good look at this specialized S-Works tarmac. If you have, then give it a big thumbs up. And for more Giro content or some more pro bikes, why don't you check over there?